the future of the United States Postal Service. It's more than $9 billion in the red and is now proposing cutting Saturday mail delivery and closing more than 3,000 local post offices. Outside a hearing on Capitol Hill today, service could be gone, as, as we know. Republican Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma was also at today's hearing on the future of the Postal Service. You just heard your colleague there, Senator, saying by this time next year, the Postal Service as we know it could be gone. Uh, what needs to be done and does what need to be done include some form of taxpayer assistance, taxpayer bailout? No, I, look, the, the, the business model that with the post office has run on it is failed because technology has outstripped first class mail. And I've been working on this subject for 12 years, and, and we continue to have estimates that are erroneous. The fact is, is the vast majority of first-class mail is going to go away, and we need to have a business model that adjusts for that. Uh, Senator Carper's right. If we don't do anything, if we don't change the flexibility that the management needs at the post office, if we don't let them run it to meet what the market says is out there in terms of delivering of goods to homes, uh, then they're not going to be able to. There, there's, there's two or three critical problems that haven't been addressed by Congress that are going to have to be addressed if you want to continue to have a postal service that, that has a monopoly mandate and, and delivers high quality with a great bunch of people. There will be some people who say, get the government out of this. Let the private sector take care of it. Is that the right approach? Well, the, the private sector won't take care of uh, actually delivering to every address in the country, and that's the problem. It is you have to give them the monopoly and they have the capability to do it but we have ha the congress through our laws have hamstrung the post postal service to where they can't change to meet their business model and that's what has to happen uh, you know if, just a couple of things one is is when they negotiate a contract with the labor unions they can't consider their financial or fiscal impact on the health of the post office well Nobody's ever going to be successful if none of the, if any of the labor contracts don't consider the financial health of the organization for which you're going to pay them to work. So th that's number 